Greetings, greetings, beautiful Cancer beings. It is your girl, Kiandi, a.k.a. Wild Moon. For all of you that follow me or have followed me since the beginning of this page in uh, January of 2020, um, I would like to say thank you so much for sticking around. I know I've been MIA for um, quite a few moons. Yes, quite a few moons since this whole COVID thing you know, I spent my life in a tailspin and it was like really, really cool, but crazy at the same time. A lot of changes have taken place. A lot of transformation has taken place in my life. Um, but a lot of forward movement and a lot of growth and a lot of spiritual growth, a lot of personal growth and emotional growth. And, um, and, and even by way of my business, you know, financial growth. Uh, it's kind of sad that it took something as, as horrible as a, a world pandemic for my life to shift exactly as I needed it to. And I hope the same thing is happening for you, Cancer. Um, but yes, it's 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 been a hell of a ride. I, I would say that 2020 was like, it was crazy because I felt something coming. I felt something. It had me crying. It had me really in my feelings, really. Right before that, because my birthday is March 4th. So uh, uh, I haven't been back to work since March 10th. And today it is September 16th. Right. But it's crazy because I'm still getting paid. Um, I'm a school bus driver and I'm working from home. So it's 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 weird. However, it's been so fulfilling. It's given me so much time to get more acquainted with my family, um, with my children, my husband, and, uh, and my business to really just really have the time to meditate to take the time to, to really check in with myself. That, that's priceless. And I hate that it came at, you know, on the heels of such such chaos, but it is exactly what I needed in my life. And I hope that uh, it is the same for you, Cancer. All right, here we go. Let's see what Spirit has for you for October 2020. Spirit guides, angel guides, divine ancestors, please give me clear and concise messages for the collective consciousness of the sign of cancer as it pertains to October 2020. I'm taking only cards that fall on the table, Spirit. Only cards that fall on the table. Thank you. All right. Got your first card. So I hope that you are all well. I hope that the universe is treating you well and that what you're seeing is what you wanted to manifest. You have an opportune moment in time right now. I don't know how long this portal is going to stay open. However, I'm sure we've all been feeling some major shifts happening on a, um, on a, um, I thought one flipped over, on a spiritual level. Yeah, that was one that's flipped over. Spirit, what do you have for the No, we're not going to go like that. Come on, Spirit. What messages do you have for the collective consciousness of the sign of cancer as pertains to the cards that fall on the table, Spirit? It's on the table. All right. Got two cards. They're both face down, so I'm not sure what you got gotcha. yet. Have to see. Oh, oh my, that's too many. Are you trying to fall? All right. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. All right. Two more cards, spirit. Two more cards. Mm, that's beautiful flip. That was a beautiful card. If it's for them, let it hit the table, spirit. Okay. One more card. Mm -hmm. You're going to give me three, huh? All right, I'll take them. Mm -hmm. All right. And who do we have on the bottom of the deck? 
your overall energy coming into the month of October is the Queen of Swords. The Queen of Swords sets boundaries. It's like, look, look at here. <laughs> this is how things are going to go down. These are my boundaries. You tread over them. I'm going to off with your head, okay? But I'm going to come in peace. I'm going to come in peace. I'm going to come in love. I'm going to listen. I'm going to offer my hand and extend my help. However, if what you're coming with is out of alignment and a lot out of alignment with the boundaries that I have set in my life, then um, yeah, it's not going to work out. It's not going to work out. It's not going to work out. Okay. And she has no problem telling me that. <laughs> oh, yes. Okay. All right. All right. All right. Give me just a moment so I can look over your cards. All right now, beautiful Cancerian beings. <laughs> yes, before I get started on your tarot card reading, I did want to bring up my um, Wild Moon Child style earrings and ring that are both available on my website, which you can find in the description box below. Also, if you would like personal readings with me, all of that information is in the description box below as well. So without further ado, uh, yes. <laughs> okay. The first card that you got is the Queen of Pentacles. She's got her coins, baby. She's got her coins. <laughs> yes, but she's very humble, you know. She does the work. She works hard. She's abundant. She makes shit happen, but she makes shit happen on a tangible level. Like, she uses her, her mind. She uses all of the elements to create abundance in her life, but it's abundance on a tangible level. So it's abundance uh, financially, it's an abundance in love, it's an abundance in um, relationships, an abundance in, you know, those things that we can hear, smell, taste, feel, touch, you know, using our senses, hold <laughs> on this physical realm. So this is a woman that has made this happen. She is fertile also, which means she is abundant. You know how many rabbits, rabbits have? <laughs> a lot. So that's how her abundance is, is flowing into her. And that is a great energy for you to have starting out the um, October of 2020 cancer. You know, she's got all this fruit growing around her. She's very fruitful. Everything is coming to fruition. She's able to make things happen because whatever she is doing, she's standing in her queen of wands energy, which means it's something that she's passionate about that's bringing her the money. That's bringing her the, the wealth and the abundance in her life and the prosperity in her life because she honors who she is. She honors what she does. She trusts her solar plexus. She trusts that gut instinct, the gut instinct that is leading her forward and helping her to acquire this wealth and abundance in her life. And then she has a shadow side. <laughs> he or she. Now, I'm speaking of the Queen of Pentacles and I'm speaking of the Queen of Wands. However, if you are a male that is watching this video, do know that um, the Queen energy does not denote that you have to be a woman to embody this. A woman embodies both female and male um, energies, as do you. As a matter of fact, you were all female before you were male, when you were in the womb. Look the shit up. It's deep and it's real. You know, we all start out with the female um, um, DNA. And um, that's why, you know, sometimes people can have babies and they'll, they'll have an ultrasound that says, oh, you're having a girl, you know, and then they end up having a boy. However, it cannot be vice versa. Let me tell you why. Because they all start out female. And then the female genitalia, if it's going to become a male and those XY chromosomes and all that, you know, scientific DNA stuff kicks in, 
then it develops the, the, the male genitalia from the female. So, um, yes, you are all male. So you do embody, you know, estrogen and you do embody femininity. So just because you are a male and you're getting this message, it does not mean that, you know, oh, this doesn't apply to me. No, it just means not showing your masculine energy as you, you know, do these things. You know, as you create your wealth, you're using a feminine energy because you're birthing things into existence. You're bringing things to fruition. You're birthing things to life. Your passions, they come from within. That's a birth. They come from within outwardly. That's giving birth. So that's still feminine energy. Even though you are a masculine that is having these, these um, ideas. However, we all have this shadow side. And, and spirit is saying... This is a necessity. The, the shadow self, the devil self is a necessity we have to all have. We can try our best to live in our God besides. But there is at some point along our journeys or in our lives where we are going to definitely have to show our shadows. However, Spirit is saying, do not live here. Do not set up camp here. Do not feel like, you know, I'm acquiring these things in my life. I'm doing these things with passion and now I have to always keep my claws out. I have to always stay on guard. This is also a card saying be mindful of those devils that we have, those, those um, addictions that we have to things that are not of our greatest good. So to be mindful of that because we always have the ability to, to take those chains off. You see how loosely those chains are around those people? They believe that they're stuck and bound there. However, if they simply remove the chains from their necks, they are free. And that's what Spirit is saying. Yes, you have those addictions. Yes, we have to honor our shadow selves. Yes, we have to have vices in life. <laughs> We all have them. That's those parts of ourselves that we try to keep hidden from everybody else. That we try to keep hidden from the world to save other people from our wraths. To save other people from our swordish tongues. Swordish. Sword-like tongues. <laughs> At times. You know. To, to protect people from, you know, those, those, those instincts that are for survival. That are for sometimes destruction. To just be mindful of that and to not live in that space. Because in living in that space, it will cause you nothing but heartache and headache and a lot of weight. Mentally, emotionally, physically, spiritually, in every way it will affect some area of your life. So, we want to stay out of that energy. But, um, I would like to clarify them. What is this devil? This devil. This devil is not honoring the masculine of your feminine, not honoring the masculine and the feminine of what you're passionate about. You know, it's it's giving too much to either one or the other. Um, but I'm thinking it is not a balancing of the two. It is that because this is the card that is, is representing the clarification of the devil energy. This is, you may be exuding too much of the masculine. And it's going to cause problems. Because your leading cards are very feminine energy. Very nurturing. Very loving. Very life-giving. You know. And abundant. Full of passion. Those are, are, are feminine qualities. And the devil would be, you know, you overlooking those feminine qualities and trying to stand more in the masculine um, energy at this time. Spirit is saying that's not going to benefit you. It's going to cause you some problems. So what spirit is going to help you through <laughs> as you combat this, 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 this masculine energy that is going to cause chaos spirit is going to bring you to another queen another queen energy this is the queen of love the queen of acceptance the queen of just um, of, 
of going with the flow and allowing things to be and, and having an, an, a clear emotional attachment to things and to lead by how things make you feel inside. That's the Queen of Cups. That's that Pisces energy. That is that I love you and I don't even have to know you to love you, to give you my best, to honor you, to see the good and the God in you and thus get in there in return. That is that feminine side. I can't do that with the masculine energy. The masculine energy is I'm taking action. I have to make things happen. And that's not the energy that you need right now. Settle in that femininity. Give love. Give peace. Be what, um, be what these queens embody. Look at this energy. Look at this. Look at all that feminine energy. I mean, it's feminine energy from a tangible, physical realm. Feminine energy and passion and pursuits of your happiness. Feminine energy and allowing yourself to feel as deeply as you possibly can about the achievements and the dreams and goals that you have to propel you forward. Spirit is saying, I'm giving you patience. Temperance is all about taking the time to balance those emotions, to get grounded, to be in the here and now, to honor the here and now. Because in honoring the here and now and being as present in the moment as you possibly can with love, with feminine energy, the sun will shine on you. Your life will become as abundant as you could possibly dream it to be. This is victory. This is success. This is the sun shining on you. This is growth. This is abundance. This is prosperity. And it will have been by your own will. You will will these things into existence. However, we can put up our own roadblocks too and cause chaos in our lives by not honoring where, what type of energy we should be, you know, emitting into the world don't admit don't release to the world your shadow self that self that feels like you know the world is out to get you or something's uh you know got to be a challenge things are only as challenging as you allow them to be in your mind this is a mental card so you know it's, you see the heart you see how it's blackening that heart that's all done here how you control how you allow things to make you feel. These are energies that you can't escape from. Now the masculine energy, you can just be mindful of when I'm being just a little too aggressive and a little less nurturing. You can see those things. But you can't always see how you mentally beat yourself up or how you mentally put weights and chains on yourself, creating these devil energies for yourself. So Cancer, I would like you to definitely be mindful of those energies that are going to be around you at this time. Um, feel that masculine energy coming on, soften it up, become a little more nurturing, a little more, you know, listen a little bit more than you speak. Show a little more compassion. Your cancers, your water signs, you are, are, are definitely in tune with your emotions. So be in tune with the feminine aspect of those emotions. For just a moment. Yes, Spirit is saying what you manifest, this sunshine that's going to bless your life, after you've taken the time to just be patient and just get grounded and breathe and collect yourself and put those intentions out there, you will see the changes. You'll see the sun shining on you. See, the sun just came out. <laughs> this video is brighter now, see? <laughs> because you have had the power all along. You have been the magician all along, Cancer. This is a person that has all the tools that they need. You see? 
They have the wand. They have the sword. They have the pentacles. They have the cups. They have everything that they need to create their greatest desires. And that's what spirit is telling you. Yes. Beautiful, beautiful reading. I'm going to um, grab a couple of oracle cards for you as well. Um, the first oracle deck that we're going to use is the Angels and Ancestors oracle deck. And uh, let's see what message the spirit has for you. Beautiful reading. I hope that you heeded the messages that are there for, for you, if there were any confirmations for you. Um, also, um, If you didn't resonate with you, then chew the meat and spit out the bones. There was something there, and a the reason why you came to this. Nothing is coincidental. So, chew the meat and spit out the bones. All right, Spirit, angel eyes, divine ancestors, please give me clear and concise messages for the sign of Cancer as it pertains to October 2020. Son of Cancer, I'm taking the cards that fall on the table, Spirit. On the table, Spirit. Alright. And you got four. I'll take them. I'll take them. Let's see. The first one you got is the Magic Guardian. It says, Unlock the Magic Guardian within that takes us back to this last card that you got the magician that you've had the power all along unlock the magic within trust your intuition you see all of this yellow in the background get grounded yes get grounded in the here and now know where you are no honor where you are in this very moment but trust where your spirit is leading you and know that you have the power to co-create. So trust your power within. Also with that yellow, you see it's right over her crown chakra. You know, that, that yellow hue that's telling you to trust your solar plexus, trust your intuition, be intuitively guided from within. Trust yourself. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Next card that you got is the White Witch. Be the light. Um, there's a lot going on in this picture. There's the pentacles. That's all about using all of the elements. Again, taking it back to all the elements. Earth, air, fire, water, spirit. This card is telling me, first of all, there is this cream, which is, is screaming abundance to me. Growth, abundance. You know, she's, it's something around her crown, but she's embodying it too. It's coming from some type of wisdom, her inner wisdom, because it looks like this owl is almost a part of her body. You can't really tell where the owl is sitting, if it's sitting on a branch or if it's coming from her heart chakra, which is also green. So, wow. So, yes, it seems like it's this owl is like, it's like what this is telling me and what spirit is telling me is that that wisdom is going to come from within. It's going to be from this heart space. You are going to feel it from your heart that it is the truth. Ancient wisdom. This is an owl that is wise beyond its years. It's a symbol of wisdom. But you also have the pentacle, which is a symbol of protection. And then there's, oh my goodness, there's a butterfly even in her hair that is complete and utter transformation. The transformation of the way you think about things. The way you think about abundance. The way you use your heart space. Just wow. 
and this even the owl has like antlers like it's like she's got sticks this is ivy it's like ivy like you know grape vines um, but ivy grows like out of control I mean you can put a piece of ivy in a cup of water and that shit will just become a whole full just just take over your whole damn house it will climb walls it will attach to things it will ring itself around it anchors itself but it grows you know so that is what this is definitely telling me is that there is definitely a lot of growth here and it's going to come from the heart space it's going to come from your inner wisdom and the, in the going within and trusting yourself then you have the lady back to that feminine energy the lady and it says enjoy growth and reap rewards enjoy growth all that growth around her look at all that abundance she's even got locks you know how long it takes for that to grow that long <laughs> That's patience, that's abundance, that's also back to the, the root chakra, but it's also about really, really honoring that heart chakra with all this green and abundance and love and growth and weeping of rewards. And, oh, that's so good. That is the sun. This is a depiction of how this card is represented in your life. How abundant your life is going to feel. You know how much sun and cultivating and, and watering and love goes into making something that abundant. There's work involved, but there's so much more reward involved too. It's a beautiful, beautiful. And then you got the shapeshifter. So changing, you may be changing your look, changing the way you operate, changing your whole it may be a physical transformation or it may be a mental transformation. However, the shapeshifter um, um, is to transform and to unveil your gifts. Transform, which make me over, make me nice. <laughs> That's what I get from that. Is that I'm going to change something physically about myself. To shapeshift means people saw you look this way and then now you just like what the what is going on and unveiling your gifts you may have a gift for changing your look you have a, you may have a gift for you know doing something that is dramatic uh, however um, oh my goodness okay we got a snake in here which is going to be shedding skin you are becoming a new version of yourself it is that hawk up there the hawk is to have, you know, far sight, to be able to see things from very far away, to see the bigger picture, to, to be able to pinpoint detail. Um, then we have the wolf. You may be a lone traveler. You may be an introvert, somebody that, you know, doesn't need a, you know, well, wolves do travel in packs. Could be a wolf, could be a coyote. I would assume wolf, however, yes, you may find your tribe. Once you make this transformation and shed your skin and start to see things from a different perspective, from a higher viewpoint, you know, that's when you'll find your pack. Look at that person. It's like they're transforming into all of those things. They have the ability to, to, what is that? Ah, uh, those are planets out there. So it could be something significant significant about, you know, planetary. You might be into astronomy. You may go out into the night and ask those planets, how should I transform? How could I transform? What should I do? What changes should I make? Should I shed my skin like the snake? Should I begin to see things from a higher perspective like the hawk? Should I have that? that preciseness of the hawk so I can find my tribe and my pack like the wolf but it's still all that green there's all that abundance there's all that abundance and trusting your intuition and abundance and trusting your intuition so to get your abundance cancer trust your intuition <laughs> 
trust your intuition right now. Now we're going to go on to a moonology card. Oh, I'm down almost to a uh, half an hour. Um, I thank you anybody that has sat this long to watch me <laughs> give this reading. Much, much, much appreciation for you. I love you. You'll be a long time. Okay. Please give me clear and concise messages for the collective consciousness of the sign of cancer as it pertains to October 2020. There's a traverse time and space for October 2020. What messages do you have for them? I'm taking the cards that fall on the table, spirit, only on the table. Faith in your dreams, Cancer. Have faith in your dreams, and it is aligned with the waxing crescent moon. The waxing crescent moon. Look at all that. It's beautiful. Oh, I'm such a moon child. That's why I named my, my page that. Oh, I just love the moon. Anytime I see it, it's like, oh. <laughs> um, okay, so it says, have faith in your dreams. So you may be getting... Um, downloads in your dreams pay attention to your dreams maybe have a dream journal at this time um, or write down some of your dreams that you would like to see come into fruition now remember that you have this magician energy magician energy you have the sun shining on you and you have the patience take the time to write it down to, to what are your dreams what is it you really would love to do with your life it's saying have faith in them Write them down, align with them, start taking action towards them. Whatever you can do in this here and now, even if it's just to write a plan of what you would like to see happen or what you would like to have, have faith in it. You have to start where you are. You have to grow where you're planted. So, beautiful message. Beautiful message in the last semesters that I'm going to get to. Is the Archangel's Oracle deck, and that is by Doreen Virtue. Let's see what Archangels are around you at this time, Cancer, that you can call upon for assistance and how they may be able to assist you. All right. I just saw a hawk fly over me. They just cast the biggest damn shadow, too. <laughs> Dang, I wish y'all saw that. But that was a hawk. Oh my goodness. Okay. All right. All right. All right. There. Wow. What? <laughs> so wild. Somebody else got that too. I think it was either Taurus. I think Taurus got a blue jay that just came and screamed at me yesterday. <laughs> And I was talking about their bird animal. Uh, actually, it was a dove in their picture, but this, it was clearly a blue jay. And I said, oh, wow. Well, yours is clearly that hawk energy, so. Okay. Spread your wings, Archangel Ariel. It says, do not hold back right now. The time is perfect and you are ready to soar. Just like that bird, that hawk that just flew over my freaking head. I am too well done. What is that? Oh, hell, let me my glasses. What is this? 
every time I use these cards, I see something different. Now, I've never gotten this card before, but oh my goodness. That looks like a little canary or something. Look at that. That little tiny bird right there. So birds are definitely going to be significant for you, Cancer. Be looking out for them. Oh, that is so freaking awesome. Beautiful, beautiful message, Cancer. That just made me so excited. I just, uh, oh, I don't know why I got those timber. That's wild. That's so wild. Yes, Cancer. So if you like this reading, do leave me a comment. Let me know how this is resonating in your world or how it's showing up in the physical reality for you. Um, don't forget to hit that subscribe button if you're new. Um, I would love to have you back. And all those that did decide to come back after many, many moons of my absence, I thank you. I appreciate you. And I'm so humbled to have you back. Um, until next time, Cancer, be loved, be light, be well, and spread your wings.